I've always sort of thought Spud was a mix between a really good mate, an uncle you're very close to, and an older brother that you sort of looked up to. I reckon that's the mix. He was moronic. He was childish. He was always up for a good time. He would ring you if he thought you were flat or down. Um, he was just a bloody good guy. I'm a country boy, he's a country boy. I love the horses, he loved the horses. We'd sort of spent enough time as kids doing similar things. I've got brothers, he's got brothers. And I think there was a bit of a kindred spirit. And he always supported me, whether it was a Triple M or whether it was, you know, if I'd just done the Anzac Day service, he would always text me and say, well done. You know, and that was in his own way. Um, just a sort of tip of the hat to me and I always felt like he would look after me and he always did. When he told me that he was battling, um, I don't think it really surprised me and I love the fact that he felt that he could talk about it. And I think the more we spoke about it, the closer we got. I think in the end, we were mutually beneficial for each other. The thing that he realised was that he wasn't alone and he wasn't one of the men that was in the minority and it was common and the more he talked, I think, the more he realised that. I just wish he'd talked to a point where he didn't feel like he was so alone. Spud has started a conversation within the AFL community that allows us all to feel more comfortable about sharing our mental health issues. It just shouldn't be something that ever feels uncomfortable. And it always has for so many. And I hope that changes through the centre and the discussion we're all starting to have. He would pretend that he didn't like having a fuss made over him, but he'd really like it. And he'd love the sentiment of it all because in the end, Spud was really aware of how important it is to discuss mental health and to continue to share issues amongst each other. So I think you'd be pretty pleased and pretty proud that it's happening. <laughs>